Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be getting pretty personal in this video with you guys because I'm going to be sharing my plastic surgery experience in Korea. I actually documented the whole thing just to show you the whole process and how I felt, you know, just my entire experience. But before I get into everything, I want to tell you a little bit about Seoul Cosmetic Surgery. So they are a beauty expert and government licensed medical tourism agency in Seoul, South Korea. They basically help you find the best doctors and they help you with airport transfer, shopping tours, booking accommodations, pre-op and post-op surgery support, translation, booking consultations, getting your medicine. Basically, they serve as a personal concierge. And when I tell you guys that they go above and beyond for you, I am, I'm not kidding. I mean, they were my emotional, mental support. They drove me to all my appointments. I was never alone. Um, whenever I wanted to eat something specifically, you know, they catered and gave me recommendations. I mean, I told them I wanted a puppy and I came home with a puppy. Let me tell you, that wasn't easy and they helped me through every single process. I don't think I could have, you know, gone through this whole experience without them. So I'm so grateful and I would choose them over any other tourism agency in Korea. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. So this is me. No makeup, no contour. Um, I actually have PDO in my nose right now, so you can imagine how flat it actually is. This part just doesn't exist. This is PDO lift. So, as you can see, I literally paint on my nose every day with contour. It's my biggest insecurity. I just want to walk out and feel comfortable in my own skin like this, I wish, but I'm so almost repulsed. I don't know. It's so sad to say that about yourself, but. Okay, I literally just finished my makeup and you can tell the difference that I basically draw on my nose every day. <laughs> so it's kind of getting annoying, but um, you can see contour does wonders. <laughs> I just uh, found myself. Hi! As you can tell, I've been pretty traumatized my entire life. But as soon as I got off the flight, I saw Dean and Mona from Soul Cosmetic Surgery waiting for me to pick me up and take me to my hotel. And when you're in a foreign country, this is extremely helpful because I don't speak the language. So they kind of took care of everything and it was just, everything was so seamless. Hey guys, so I made it to Korea. And if you're wondering why I have the mask on, it's because I kind of came at a really tough time um the coronavirus is everywhere and so i'm staying safe and protected by wearing this n95 mask um and even though that this is going around i still came because i just didn't have any other time in the entire year to come so this is it and i'm here um but i'm in my hotel i just checked in and i'm about to go out and get some water maybe some snacks and just chill you best believe I was eating instant ramen and watching Crash Landing into you. <laughs> Morning guys, it is the day of my consultation. Um, gonna do that with the doctors today. I actually go into surgery tomorrow, so today is just a day of a lot of tests and I'm figuring out um, what I'm gonna do. So I'm excited. I need this coffee to kick in. Um, so yeah, see you in a bit. going outside let's go so this was my first time stepping into views clinic and let me tell you this place was beautiful and i really appreciated all the health measures they were taking to prevent coronavirus with the hand sanitizer and the mandatory masks before my long day of consultations i got to drop off all my bags in the vip patient room and well, let me tell you guys this was nice had a beautiful view of the city a big bed fridge and the bathroom was so nice i was so excited to stay there and i just had to go a few floors up for all my consultations because everything is in one building can we just talk about the zoo for a second <laughs> so i was off to my first consultation which was for my breast augmentation hello i got a black mask this time it's 
better with the outfit. So my breast surgeon was Dr. Chun Jae Hyung, and this is where I expressed all my concerns. So the reason behind my breast augmentation was actually for the functionality rather than the looks. I just wanted to be able to wear clothes without having this hollow space or my bra line showing. After addressing all my concerns, we went through so much where I wanted the volume, what type of implant, and we actually decided to go with Motiva. And I decided on 285 cc, and this would give me a full B cup. So what I love about Motiva is that this implant actually moves with your body. So when you're laying down, it'll go flat. When you're standing up, it'll go to a teardrop shape. And overall, this is just a very natural look. And I'm a small human being, I'm five foot, so I really wanted something to be proportionate and very natural looking. So that's what Motiva does. I decided to go with putting the implants through my underarms and I went with this because I heard that once it heals, it just looks like an armpit fold and the scar is actually bigger than when you would get it under the breast, but I just didn't want any scars on my chest overall. I'm so happy with my consultation with Dr. Hyung because he answered all my questions and concerns. He actually told me a lot about breast augmentation that I didn't know about and he assured me that everything will look very natural. So I'm just waiting right now to get all my tests done um, for the breast augmentation. A bunch of x-rays, blood tests, all that stuff. And then here's my get up. So next we are off to the VIP consultation room and this is where I'll be having my eyes and nose consultation. And again, another beautiful ruin view. And when I tell you I'm never alone, I'm literally never alone. I always have someone from Seoul Cosmetic Surgery and I had Kelvin here who was my translator all day. So this is Dr. Kong and she is my eye surgeon. And let me tell you, she has the most soothing voice when she tells you to open and close. I will never forget it. Also, please do not comment on my overgrown roots and breakage. I knew I was going into surgery, so I really didn't care how I looked. I was gonna get it dyed after anyway. My natural eyelids were actually very uneven and droopy. My eyelash extensions held them up and opened my eyes, but this was also very annoying because my eyeliner was actually very thick on my left eye and very thin on my right eye. One thing I was very adamant on going into this consultation is that I wanted the westernized eye look. Typically, Koreans have their eye crease closer to the lash line versus non-Asians who have theirs naturally where the eye creases. Dr. Kong and I actually found a happy medium where we would put my eyelid crease a little higher than Koreans typically do, so I would still look very ethnic but still have my westernized eye look. Before my last consultation, I had a little sit down with Kelvin to address exactly what I wanted done to the nose. So for my nose augmentation, I wanted a higher curved bridge, a more pronounced nose tip, and overall a very cute button nose. For my nose augmentation, I will be having Dr. Yi Jin Ho be my surgeon. So to get my dream nose, I actually have to undergo three different procedures. I showed him a few pictures of how I wanted my nose to look and that was it. Having Dr. Yi as my surgeon made me feel so comfortable and I've never been more excited. So this is Mona. Hello. She's my like guardian oh. angel who said oh this God, whole that. thing. Oh. Shh, okay. shh, 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 shh. She's beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. She's just tripping. Okay, we'll do this again. Okay, let's do it. So this is Mona. Hello. I'm not gonna cut the video, just so you know. Okay. This is my little guardian angel who set this whole thing up. Yes. I know. Because she knew how I was stressing about my nose. Yeah. Well, we're See? so happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, talked on cacao probably months for months. I've known yes. her for months. Yeah. If we're not best friends by like, we're already best friends. Exactly. But like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. Uh, when she comes to LA. Yeah, it's gonna be on. Hello. Right. This is my other BFF. Yes, we just met. Hi. Yeah, but he's seen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow in surgery, I will be undergoing breast augmentation, rhinoplasty, lateral osteotomy, wear reduction, and incisional ptosis correction. I will be doing all these surgeries under one session of anesthesia and it will take about 7 to 8 hours. 
My long consultation day is done, but the day is not over because I have to get my eyelash extensions removed. So Mona from Soul Cosmetic Surgery took me to Mira Princess where they removed all my extensions. And yes, that's me doing the renegade dance on the bed. Don't judge. I look like a naked mole rat. Yo, level one to 10 of ugly, I am level 9.8. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. You know my last supper is going to be something epic, and so we went to All You Can Eat K Barbecue. The pork just hits different in Korea. Mm. I just got back into my room. It was such a long day of consultations and lots of tests. Um, just got back from dinner. So for surgery, I basically had to strip down to my most basic pure self. No nail polish, no eyelash extensions, and I had to take off every single earring. And I have so many piercings, so that was kind of hard for me. But, you know, safety. I'm gonna take a shower, and I'm gonna go to bed. I have to be up at 7 a.m., be ready by 8. Surgery day. So, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this day for so long. So, all right, I will see you guys in the morning. It's surgery day, woo woo! As you can see, everyone in view and every single patient is wearing a mask. This is their way of protecting everyone from coronavirus, which is super important during this time. And here I am, it's me. <laughs> I'm actually super excited. So before surgery, I had to make sure everything was very clean. I also had my last consultation with Dr. Kong, Dr. Yi, and Dr. Chung, just to make sure we're all on the same page. I knew I was with the best of the best, so I had no worries at all. Well, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Huge thank you to everyone at VIEW and Soul Cosmetic Surgery. Well, that is the end of part one, so stay tuned for part two for the big reveal.